this is working. There it is. All right, so that's got to go. Here, push your side out. There. Okay. All right, so you need, what do you need for tools here? You want He's got the, the Kawasaki, so that's why he made it. You might as well, what you got. might as well, ma well, I might as well mass produce it too. I, I would buy one of these. It's way up here. Actually, that's it. There it is. Look how easy. No, I was just hit. Oh, you rolled on the other side, right? Yeah. That apart, you can you can see this is going into a frame there. Okay. Yeah, that flow. No. Oh, so just kind of go out with it. Yeah, because it's, it's yeah. Gonna definitely. Yeah, like that's hitting. So if that was out. Okay. That's almost better though, no? Well, that's not bad. That's better, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we can pull this out more. Can this come up more? warm in here. There's a high, low fan, and there's also floor vents on each side that can be aimed. And... Let's see, turn that. All the work bringing these up here and it's like we didn't even touch this one I know. look at that one it's still like full a shame oh well see that's already freezing what? see that's solid that's ice see yeah i think we we're a little late on this Alright, 
Oh, it's pretty cool. It's definitely warm in there. All right, I had this glass replaced. It was like a little over 300 bucks. The place is supposed to pay for it though. And this is tempered glass, so that should be way stronger. All right. A load of stuff going up to camp. You ready, buddy? Come on. Good boy. Here, just gonna get the shot. This is gonna take two. You gotta pull that out a little bit. And then do that. I'll wait. to put a set of snow tracks on this Kawasaki. So they're going to replace the tires. I actually got two sets of them here. I tried putting on this set the other night at my buddy's house, but realized it wasn't gonna happen without making a bunch of parts. This set is supposed to go right on it. So I, I thought I liked those better, but now I'm realizing I think I like these better, and especially if I don't have to do anything to put them on. So I think I'm the first person to put a set of tracks on this model UTV, so let's uh, see how it goes. take that off is there's not enough room to get that in there and start you're at a wrong angle so they got a level let me hang on What difference did that make today in that dump truck? They're not going through, right? Yeah. 
right, so this bracket right here, for whatever reason, it's hitting right there and right there. I guess I'm gonna try to trim it. Let's see, trim like right there. I'm honestly thinking it's because of how worn down my brake pads are because it has the whole caliper shifted over this way, you know, which is fine. That's what they're supposed to do as it wears. But I think when the guy designed this, he didn't take that into account. It needs brake pads, but I mean, it should fit regardless of the condition of the brake pads. That out pretty deep right there. I got it. So that's what it was hitting. Enough room to get that in there. It's tight. Same thing up top. Realizing this side has the same issue. What it is, it's hitting the caliper and actually putting the brakes on. Look at that, that's locked up solid. Yeah, that's the same issue. On this trying to get these lugs started. It's like... Uh, still hitting. I think I got that. Design this thing like there's not enough room to like the socket is, is jammed against that sprocket I didn't crash. I just, the last time it got that messed up, I went way too fast through this drainage ditch and pretty much jumped into like a solid wall. But it's not because I didn't steer good. I would just. Yeah, Cody hit that windshield hard too. That should make it quieter and warmer. Especially in the back, I sealed up a big hole, so. All right, I didn't really film it, but side lights, back light. So, nice factory looking switches, rear lights, side lights. Look at that, that's gonna be so much nicer in the dark. How bright that is too. And that's, uh, that's powered as well, so it's not like there's no batteries in that to change. Did I think that's going to do anything? 
Yeah.
thing in the dark in the snow. There's some deep stuff here too. There's a lot of drifts, which are certainly interesting. But.
right, so Cody took advantage of that broken track and decided he wanted to check out this hiking trail. So luckily I got that tracking collar on him. I was following your giant footprints. So we got to check out this hiking trail. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, it's a little annoying now because it's a little annoying. It's pretty nice up here, huh? Did you have a nice hike? I mean, you probably ran 15 miles today already or more. this down to the road and uh wonder how long it was like that yeah i don't know about these camzo tracks i mean just cheap plastic wheels i mean we could just keep driving this right back down if I back up now.
All right, Cody, what's your take on that situation right there? Kind of broken, huh? Man, I don't know about this. I bought this thing brand new. She ain't looking too new anymore. All right, I'm not that impressed with these cams though, tracks. The, uh, look at these plastic wheels blowing right off of there. What else we got? So we broke that sprocket too. Brakes for this thing from Kawasaki were like over 400 bucks. I got, normally I'm not a fan of aftermarket anything, but I don't want to spend 400 bucks for brakes. Plastic welded or stitch or zip ties? Yeah, well, it only happened because the track flipped up. This goes to that. Alright, the plan is to put these tracks on. The issue is they do not fit, but let's try to make them fit. Okay, so these are the brackets for the camzos.
set of washers. Space that out. The part number for those. Pretty far away from it. Yeah. It should technically be down all the way, but that's because then the tracks are sitting level. Figuring this out, so it's reached. That thing looks low now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, these tracks actually lower it quite a bit. This had 31 inch tires and now it's technically on I mean we got like kind of two things going on, like one like the angle. Let's yeah. see how far out that's the width of this bar. See, that bar was meant for a Polaris Ranger. I guess that's not as wide as this thing. We just put a bunch of lights up. What do they call these things? A quad burst. Better job photographing it. All right, so a few weeks later here, and it's getting late into March. There's not much snow. It doesn't look like we're getting much more. I'm sure I could make these tracks fit on here. Here's my concern with these. I like that they have a bigger drive sprocket and stuff is made out of metal, and they seem heavier duty built. The problem is with the ground clearance. Um, essentially, that's like a 21-inch tire on there because we're rolling on the actual sprocket. This machine was meant to have 31s. I even had 33s on it. I don't think it's worth moving forward with this track system. They just make the machine sit too low. You know, these Camzo tracks, they at least fit on here. The problem is the sprockets are too small, so you're losing too much speed. All these parts are just made out of delicate plastic. You know, that's for paying $6,000 for this set. I can't recommend these because this, look, that's just cheap plastic um they should have to uh recall these and build that out of aluminum or something something stronger that so if someone else wants to design these better you know the market is there for it the idea is sound but not out of delicate plastic so like let these people know do a better job so right let's get it put back together See how these tires do. Actually got some decent snow coming down, but I'm gonna kind of end this video now on the uh, cab, the heater, the the tracks. The concept of the tracks are great. Someone needs to just design them better. Oh, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day.
cody, what do you think of the snow?